What's going on everybody? It's Friday, February 22. Welcome back to Foxy Games UK. I'm Fox, your reliable source of aggregated video game news, speculation and rampant rumour. And have we got news for you. It's been a very eventful 24 hours in the world of gaming from PlayStation 5 back compat being 100% a dead cert, I'll explain later, to Xbox games coming to Nintendo Switch and some sad news for Nintendo of America and Nintendo fans in general. So stick around, won't you? But first, in today's news. Adding further weight to PS5's ability to play PlayStation 4 and PS4 Pro's extensive game library natively, a more recent patent gives credence to those PS4 titles running enhanced. Source via GearNuke.com. Here's the full story. So Sony has registered a new patent in Japan and it points toward PS5 back compatibility. Now the patent published yesterday and registered by Sony Interactive Entertainment further lists PS4 and 5 lead architect Mark Cerny as integral to the technology. The patent titled Simulation of Legacy Bus Operation for Backward Compatibility really means only one thing and was said patent registered alongside the previously reported CPU ID impersonating method though published almost a month later. If this is completely over your head, Gearnuke have laid it out in layman terms. Now a bus in technical terms refers to the communication system between the different components inside electronic or computer devices. When reading in detail, the patent mentions Sony's using the method to deal with bus interface related issues when executing a legacy application on a new device. The method that Sony patented really helps to emulate the bus operation of the device the legacy application was designed for. So furthermore, it's my understanding that the method can possibly adjust bus performance as well, which could result in enhanced remasters, something that we covered, well, a long time ago. Now the two patents mentioned CPU ID and bus interface go hand in hand, and you can expect both of them to be part of the overall emulation process. Now PS5 backward compatibility is almost a given right now going by the amount of patents that have materialized to date and industry types have commented extensively on the possible existence of the feature. So does this additional patent convince you PS5 will be 100% backwards compatible or do you believe Sony are going forward leaving the PS4 legacy behind? Have your say in the comments. And it really is sad news for Nintendo fans today. In fact, probably sad news for anyone touched by this man's infectious energy, charisma and commitment to gaming. And so, after more than 15 notable years at Nintendo of America and nearly 13 as its president and chief operating officer, Reggie fils may will retire. Doug Bowser, Nintendo of America's current senior vice president of sales and marketing, will succeed Reggie as president of Nintendo of America. Here's a quote. I really appreciate everything Reggie has done for Nintendo, said Shantaro Furukawa, president of Nintendo. Now inside and outside our company, Reggie is known as an exceptional leader. We are grateful that he is leaving the business in good shape and with strong momentum. While we will miss him and we will wish him the very best in his retirement, we are also pleased to have such an able successor ready to step into that role. Doug Bowser and the rest of the team will ensure a seamless transition and continued momentum for Nintendo. And the Reginator went on to say, Nintendo owns a part of my heart forever. It's a part that is filled with gratitude for the incredibly talented people I've worked with for the opportunity to represent such a wonderful brand and most of all to feel like a member of the world's most positive and endearing uh, gamer community as I like to move forward in departing in both good health and good humor. This is not game over for me but instead I'm leveling up to more time with my wife, family and friends. Doug Bowser had this to say. It's been my great fortune to work with and be mentored by Reggie for four years at Nintendo of America. And rest assured, we will continue to build upon his work to evolve and expand our brand, furthering Nintendo's global mission of creating smiles and there are millions more of those to come. So Fisa May started at Nintendo of America back in 2003 as its executive vice president of sales and marketing and became its president and chief operating officer in May 2006. His time with Nintendo began during the Nintendo GameCube and Game Boy Advance era. His leadership of Nintendo's largest territory expanded the audience for Nintendo products as phenomena like Nintendo Dogs, Brain Age, Wii Sports and Wii Fit which brought millions of new players to the world of video games. 
Visa May's management led to record-breaking sales for products like the Nintendo DS, Wii, Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo Switch systems. At the same time, he communicated innovative new product features to a mass audience via his strong and affable personality, making him a favourite of the media members of the video game industry and fans alike. During his tenure, Nintendo of America has expanded its physical presence in the US, having established a key sales and marketing office in Redwood City, California, and built a new Nintendo of America headquarters in Redmond, Washington, that has received awards for its environmentally friendly design. Bowser, an industry veteran who joined Nintendo of America in May 2015 as Vice President of Sales before being promoted to Senior Vice President of Sales and Marketing the very next year. During his time at Nintendo of America, Bowser led the sales and marketing efforts for Nintendo Switch, which has become the fastest selling video game system of this generation through 21 months, according to the MPD Group. And of course, if you're wondering about Doug Bowser's pedigree, well, previously Bowser was an executive with industry powerhouse Electronic Arts. Most recently, as the company's vice president of global business planning, he also worked at Procter & Gamble in various leadership sales roles in Asia, Latin America and the US. Reggie fils mays last day with Nintendo will be April 15, and I'm sure many will agree he will be missed. Okay, so it's rumor time, sticking with Nintendo for the time being. Well, it's like Nintendo and Xbox have had a civil partnership ceremony. They're as good as married these days. But why do I say this? Well, the two companies have actively pushed for cross-play. Microsoft-owned IP Minecraft is on Nintendo Switch. Using Xbox Live technology behind the scenes, you literally have to create or sign in to your live account to use key Minecraft features on Switch. And now this bombshell drops, and I stress, this is all rumor, though many inside and out of the industry believe this is actually happening. Play together, survive together was the motto in a fairly recent joint Xbox slash Nintendo promo and it looks like neither company were kidding. Both Ori games are heavily rumored to be coming to Nintendo Switch via Microsoft and the Xbox Game Pass catalog is coming to Nintendo Switch via an Xbox app apparently already approved by Nintendo Corp. Indeed, it appears Ori 1 and 2, Xbox Game Pass and Project X Cloud are destined for Switch and suddenly those scale-bound Nintendo Switch rumors don't seem so far-fetched, do they? Look, I consider myself a fairly old-school, fairly conservative gamer, so this all feels super unnatural to me. But saying that, if I am persuaded, I can be fairly adaptable too. I guess it depends on the incentive to, really excuse the pun, the incentive to play along. Now, in terms of Game Pass, I'm already signed up to the service and subscriptions are set to work across both Xbox and Nintendo Switch devices. You'll be able to play Halo Infinite, Gears 5 and any Forza game on the Xbox using that big screen you own and for a more relaxing experience, play those games on Nintendo Switch from the comfort of your bed. Now, all that awaits is an official announcement either from Microsoft, Nintendo or both and at E3 2019 looks most likely from where I'm sitting but we may get another Nintendo Direct in the interim so we'll soon learn more. So it's goodbye Reggie fils May, hello Doug Bowser, hello Ori and Game Pass and we've lost a lot of soldiers though haven't we? Ex Sony, Ken Kutaragi, Jack Tretton, Andrew House, ex Microsoft, Don Matrick, Albert Pinello. Ex Nintendo, Satoru Iwata, Reggie Fisa May, and whatever your opinion of these high profile industry veterans, their individual contribution to the games industry is without question and impeachable. But what say you? Do share your thoughts and opinions on today's news because that unfortunately brings us to the end of another video, but let's continue the discussion in the comments. And for all your current and next gen news updates, rumor and rampant speculation, go ahead, hit the like button, spread the word and keep it locked to Foxy Games UK. Remember all relevant links where applicable can be found in this video's description. And subscribe to Foxy Games UK, remember to hit the notification bell so you never miss content, thumbs up if you like it here and help us reach more like-minded gamers simply by sharing this video. Consider supporting Foxy Games UK via Patreon and or grab yourself a Foxy Games UK branded t-shirt or hoodie now available in various colours and designs and you'll find both links in this video's description. I really appreciate the support. So that concludes our time together on this Friday. It was great hanging out but uh, 
Don't forget the Gamer Couch podcast this Sunday, each and every Sunday live from 5 p.m. ET and 10 p.m. UK, moderated by our very own cat, a.k.a. Bullet Hell Honey. So, until the next video, play games, not corporations. Thank you.